Welcome, my name is John Brunswick. Over the holidays, I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do with all this free time? So I created a series of lightning components and a lightning application. I thought it would be pretty cool if I was inside of a chatter group and could pop out to easily share ideas with my peers. Now, it just so happens in Salesforce, we already have an ideas capability. It was just a matter of reusing that using lightning technology in addition to things I was already familiar with, like CSS and JavaScript. What I also wanted to do is not only use it on the desktop, but on different form factors, so phones and tablets as well. For this experiment, I've placed the code at the link below. And with that being said, let's take a look at the desktop. We're looking at our out-of-the-box interface. We can see here that we could post an idea, vote for an idea, or add a comment. Now what we've done is we've taken that same information, those same ideas, but provide a different interface. This interface is inspired by Google's material design, and what we've done is we've actually placed the ideas into a series of cards on the page. And for any one of the ideas, we've added a bit of a social flair. We can see here actually the person who created the idea, their picture is on the idea card, in addition to things like very user-friendly dates. And we can see here also how many comments there have been on a particular idea. Toward the top of the page, if we tap on any one of the sorting options, the cards are automatically sorted right in front of us. They include things, for instance, like how fresh ideas are, meaning how many people have voted or commented on the given idea, and how recently some of the ideas have been updated. So in our case, let's go ahead and create a new idea here together. And we can see that when we click into the field, there's a nice animation that happens. And again, that is inspired by some of Google's material design. I'm going to call this live test idea. This should be a great idea. Now when I post it, look real carefully toward the bottom of the screen because what's going to happen, the card is automatically going to be added to the interface and the blue shading in the background automatically updates. Now, that blue shading is reflective of what's called the vote count. So it kind of shows the momentum essentially behind the particular idea. If I go ahead and just refresh my page here, as time goes on, the shading will change to actually reflect how involved people are on a particular idea. Now, there are a couple here that people have commented on. Let's go create a comment ourselves. You'll notice again the social aspect. I see my user picture. And when I click in, nicely animates, similar to creating an idea. And so I could say, this is a good idea. I would go for it. And when I post it, it updates immediately in line, reflects the time in which it was posted, and if I want to go ahead and interact a bit more, I can actually vote for it. So you'll notice there's a one right now um, in the middle of the star. I'm going to tap on it, and you'll notice it updates to a two. That was actually a vote real time in the system here. Now, when we're creating these interfaces, there's a good chance it could be used on any type of device. And in a moment, we're going to see it live in Salesforce One. What I want to show you is what's called the responsive design aspect of what we've done. You can see that as I've resized the browser, everything has changed accordingly to accommodate the new form factor. And if I squeeze things a little bit more, we'll notice that now the navigation collapses in the upper right, and even the logo changes to reflect the new size that we're working with. And so this provides us the ability to not only reuse some of the components that have been created with Lightning within this UI, but also, again, to go across any device. So let's grab some live devices and look at this in action. All right, so we're looking at the same application, only this time we're on our mobile devices and we're actually using Salesforce One because the nice thing is with the way that Lightning is set up, it's very easy to automatically include it within your S1 experience. We can see here toward the top, we're able to do the same things around the filtering and the sorting that we were on the desktop. It just looks, well, frankly, pretty cool on the tablet. If we go ahead and tap into that monthly knowledge here, we can see here our vote, our comment. Everything comes through, but it's just formatted for the mobile. 
And very similarly, if we wanted to go ahead and create something, it works the exact same way here on the mobile. Now, at the phone level, we've gone a step further because there's not as much real estate toward the top. So what ends up happening is that we have the ability to filter on the right hand side here, but it's set up again for this type of form factor. And it's pretty nifty that we get those same effects when we're going in and doing that filtering. And again, that's kind of inspired by that Google material design. If we go ahead and create a new idea, again, the same experience, but we're just optimizing it for the mobile device itself. So that's a quick look at, again, really a experiment to see what we could do with Lightning on these different devices and do it in such a way where it's a componentized approach that we can easily leverage on mobile and use frameworks and tools that we're already using today. Lightning gives us a lot of benefits around componentizing our development, but it doesn't preclude us from using things that we love in our development work today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And again, I'm going to go ahead and place a link below this video on the page so you could go grab this experimental source code.